This is a Fox News alert. Two gunmen shot dead after opening fire at a free speech event in Texas. Critics say the event may have actually instigated the attacks. Going to join us right now to respond in an exclusive interview is the organizer of that event, Pamela Geller. Uh, thank you very much for joining us from our Dallas newsroom, Pamela. So, thank you for having me. Uh, first of all, we'll, we'll get into you know the critics out there who now say you shouldn't have had that event in the first place. But tell us what happened last night. We had a free speech conference, and clearly what happened is indicative of how very vital this conference was, was needed. The idea that there's a violent war, there is a violent assault on freedom of speech, uh, clearly was brought home last night. Sure. You know, in the contest, John Mohammed uh, was at the center of this here. Pamela, were you concerned that you were going to have another Charlie Hebdo on your hands? Look, we, my colleagues and I have been traveling with armed security for the past 10 years. There is a war on free speech. Uh, we entered a, a new era last night because this wasn't Paris, this wasn't Copenhagen, this was Texas. And there were 300 freedom lovers in that audience listening to uh, Herrt Wilders, Robert Spencer, and the winner of the cartoon, uh, the drawing contest, who, by the way, was a former Muslim. Bash Faustin. It was an art exhibit showing depictions of Muhammad all throughout the past 1400 sure. years. Right. Pamela, can I the ask idea you that now, yeah. Do you believe that there was another way to go about expressing freedom of speech and, and your rights that would not have been considered to be offensive by Muslims? Yeah. Inoffensive speech needs no protection. Offensive speech needs protection. So are we to believe that if, you, if something offends you, if something right. uh, insults you, that you, we should go out and kill people, and that way we can get our way. Because that's really the implication here. I'm not responsible for the violence conducted by others. It's outrageous that this would even be the morally inverted view of the media. That somehow, because we drew a cartoon that uh, two uh, gunmen with AK-47s tried to storm the building and shoot up innocent people, and where somehow they're not right. responsible. Right. I, it's just incredulous to me. Now, Pam, uh, when you said there's a, you want to fight for freedom of speech, who's fighting against freedom of speech? The gunmen are fighting against who, freedom who of speech. And who are they? We, well, we don't know everything yet, and well, we're like certainly you, not going to... When you put a to... conference like this together, it's, uh, it's essentially, do you believe it's uh, the Muslim extremists that are fighting against freedom of speech? Is that what this, this is about, primarily? We see across the world uh, Sharia enforcement by violent jihadists, but we also see it in the media. The media scrubs, whitewashes the jihadic doctrine. Mm -hmm. what, happened in Fran what happened in France... Uh, could have easily happened here last night. The idea that in the wake of the Charlie Hebdo massacre, that Muslim groups had a conference in the same room standing with the Prophet Conference in support of the blasphemy laws under the Sharia, in support of the ideology behind the jihad slaughter. So right. yes, we had a freedom of speech conference, because without freedom of speech, peaceful men will have no choice but to resort to violence. And the First Amendment protects all speech, sure. not just ideas that we like, but most particularly political speech, because who would decide what's good and what's forbidden? The Islamic State? You know, Muslim Brotherhood groups? Mm -hmm. This is free speech. This is the key issue of, uh, of our age. Right. And, and Pamela, you just brought up the event in the same building, in the same room that was in January, where uh, the speakers there were talking about how there, you know, there's so many people who are anti-Muslim in the country. They had freedom of speech to have their event. You went ahead. You saw that happening there. You said we're going to have this. We're going to have the contrary in the same room. You hired extra security uh, because you felt it was important to make a statement, and you did, didn't you? I did, that we did, hundreds of Americans did. That conference that you're referring to was against freedom of speech. They had an unindicted 
co-conspirator speaking, Imam Siraj Wahaj, who was uh, a 9-11, uh, not a 9-11, World Trade Center, unindicted co-conspirator. In the wake, it wasn't a, even so much as a week after the Charlie Hebdo right. jihad slaughter. Yep. Wouldn't it have been wonderful if the American Muslim leaders had a conference in defense of free speech? That would have been the way forward. Right, yeah, well, I'm not holding my breath uh, after all these years. Uh, Pam. What can you tell us more about the investigation? I understand security drove you home, and one of the security people said to you, they tried to, one of them tried to get inside this gunman, uh, tried to get inside the building, correct? They weren't just waiting. Yes, they, uh, told a couple, they, they told a couple of witnesses that as well, from what I understand. What else can they you wanted, tell us? We had, we had the event. It really was quite wonderful. Um, uh, the, uh, I understand that when the event went into lockdown, after the uh, incident, the, you had 300 uh, people singing the Star Spangled Banner and God Bless America, which goes, speaks to the, the great American spirit, even in the wake of such, such horror. My yeah. family is with, the, my, fa my, my thoughts are with the family of the police officer, the brave police officer. Kudos sure. to the Garland Police Department. We had to, you know, we had to pay an additional $10,000 to the Garland Police Department, and we had our own private security force. Right. Again, this speaks to the low state of freedom of speech in this country that in order to have a conference yep. on freedom of speech, yep. you have to spend upwards of $50,000. And look, quickly before we, we go here, do you believe that you and Geert Wilders were specifically targeted here, or is the event specifically targeted here? What have you been told? I do not believe that Herrick Wilders or myself was specifically specifically targeted. I believe that freedom of speech, that our unalienable right was targeted. This is the war. This is the war, sure. and it's here in America now. Uh, one other thing before you go, Pamela, uh, a, there are a couple of news reports out there that uh, these guys may have had a connection to ISIS. And ISIS, a known ISIS fighter, uh, tweeted out, the shooting was carried out by two pro-ISIS individuals, and another ISIS supporter claimed on Twitter one gunman called himself Sharia is light, another ISIS-connected person. What do you think about that? Yes. Well, I'm sure the president will take to the airways to assure us the Islamic State has nothing to do with Islam. But the fact of the matter is, is that this is the Sharia. This is the blasphemy laws under the Sharia, and they mean to impose it. And when Hillary Clinton, you know, goes after the YouTube video and we arrest the maker of a YouTube video, that's Sharia enforcement. That was the first political prisoner um, under the Sharia in this country, and people better wake up to what's going on and start taking back their freedom, start fighting back. So you'll do this again, Pam? Yes, I will do this again. In Texas? I don't know where, but we will do this again. We, mm -hmm. will, not abridge, we will not abridge our freedom of speech in order to, uh, you know, not offend savages. Okay. I, this is why this country was founded. This is our founding fathers. This is the First Amendment. This is crucial. You're hearing from the president of the American Freedom of Defense Initiative who organized the event there, Draw Mohammed, in Texas yesterday where the shooting was, occurred. Pamela Geller, we thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thank you. All right. All right, 21 minutes before the top of the hour. Real simple.